What am I doing up at night? Looking out the window. There's nothing to look out at night. It's dark. But I'm up, you know, considering stuff as usual. Self-taught doesn't mean untrained. It doesn't mean untrained because you're self-taught. I began my journey in photography years ago when I was five or six and my dad had a little camera. It was a Mikai, what was it? Mikai EL204. Little like rangefinder type camera. All that was, it was really a toy camera, but it could take pictures and it was, had a little 50 millimeter lens on it and it looked like a, a proper camera. And you know, when you're small, you don't know any different, you know, you see your dad with it. He's the man you measure off, you know, you take after. And I just wanted to be like him. So he used to take these pictures with this camera, <coughs> this little Mikai. <coughs> and I wanted to be like him. So when he sort of like passed it on to me, it was like, I was overjoyed now. Cause now, I got this little camera and I went about teaching myself really how to use this thing. Never had any film in it. I just put it up to my eye and practice framing. And that was really my introduction into, into photography, being five or six, seven, around about that age, you know back in the 70s. And um, training never really came in till I was in secondary school. You know, we had a photography class in secondary school. I think it was an English teacher decided one day, said, who's, inter who's interested in doing the photography? You know, if we set up a class, and obviously, you know, some of us put our hands up, I put my hand up. And we had this nice little photography class after school and that's where I learned about aperture and shutter speed and ISO and we did developing in the dark room, you know, all that kind of stuff, learning about film stock. You know, I got my first little cut my teeth in street photography. We didn't call it street photography back then, we called it going out to take some pictures. And we had these little practicas, SLR cameras and that's really where I got my first little introduction, formal training, if you will, into, um, into photography, real, real, proper, proper, yeah? So, um, the point is, being self-taught doesn't necessarily mean untrained. Because sometimes we think, if I'm self-taught, that means no one trained me. That means, not that no one trained me, I didn't even receive any training. I taught myself everything I know, I worked it out for myself. So I don't follow any kind of convention, and I'm just like, out there, doing my thing. And I was kind of out there because I had a little bit of training from school, as I said. So I was kind of out there. I got my, my Zenit EM and I started photographing the things that was around me at the time in the eighties, you know, sound system era, photographing parties and, you know, the guys lifting the sound equipment. Still didn't really know what I was doing. Still weren't really taking it seriously but it was kind of like on the job training or just on the job because it weren't really training. It was just on the job. I was doing a job on the job. Yeah. So I had my basic training, but what I was learning was kind of like trial and error. You know, I'd take some pictures. If that kind of worked, it worked and I'd build on it. 
And if it didn't work, then it didn't work and we'd leave it to one side. And I remember I kind of resist any kind of formal training because I misunderstood what training would do for me. I got the impression that if I went into any kind of training, then I would be trained into the thinking of a particular type of photographer, a particular mindset, and then I'll just become like everybody else. So that's why I kind of resisted that. So I was under the impression that self-taught men untrained, you know? This is basically what this is all about. But that was wrong. I was wrong. Hmm? You know, I was completely, I'd take shots and I'd be disappointed with the shots and I wouldn't understand why. Because I was untrained. I knew I wanted them to be better. I knew I wanted them to kind of pop and kind of say something, but because I was untrained, I didn't understand the rules. So I had to try to try stuff to see what kind of would bring out what it was in my mind that was in my head. And I couldn't bring it out because I didn't understand the rules. Untrained, self-taught does not mean untrained. That's the point, you know? And many of us today, it doesn't matter what field you go into, whether it's photography, whether it's videography, whether it's journalism, whatever art you go into, there are a certain set of rules, basic rules, that will get you from zero to the launch pad. And once you're at that launch pad, you're ready to take off. That's when your own uh, fingerprints, your own identity, your own creativity, your own style gets injected in and you can take off and be that person that you need to be. That represents that which you're trying to represent in your own way. Self-taught doesn't mean untrained. We still need training. In any endeavor, you still need to be trained to a basic level before you can take off. Otherwise, it becomes dangerous. You know, it becomes dangerous. You know, just bouncing left and right, just bouncing, not knowing where you're heading, what it is you're doing, who you're rolling over in your attempt to grow and develop into whatever it is that you're trying to be. You know, today, in this day and age, you can get information on any subject just by going online. We didn't have that back in the day. Sure, we could have went to the library, but that was long. But nowadays, anything, anything you want to study, anything you care to be, anything you care to do, you can get it online. You can get information online. You don't need to go to university. You don't need to go to college. You don't even, know, you don't even need to go to school. It's there. That training is there for you, if you so choose, you know? Self-taught really means you decide who, when, why, what, in, in, in terms of what it is you're learning, where you learn, what speed. Self-taught is like being self-employed. It doesn't mean untrained, yeah? So, we need to um, think about this whenever it is we need to 
to take steps to move ourselves or our community or our people to the next level. There are people that are engaging in activities and they're untrained. They're self-taught and untrained and dangerous because they're doing things that they just feel is right. Me feel say. It's dangerous. It can be damaging. Where are you leading people? If you're not on the basic level with the basic understanding of the basic rules that can then be broken because you understand the rules. I studied journalism in the 90s and we learnt these basic rules of newspaper journalism. The who, what, where, why, when, you know, the basic rules. And once you understand those rules, you can launch into many different directions. You can be sharp, focused, you know, bring the subject, package the subject, present the subject and make it fire and resonate into the hearts and the minds of those who, who are your readers. Can you imagine being a, a manager? You're, you're managing people and you're untrained. You're a self-taught manager. People get damaged under people like that. And some of our groups, some of the time, a lot of the time, the reason why things fall apart it's because the people who rise to that level of manager, lieutenant, whatever, you're over people, you've got a group of people under you. If you are not trained how to deal with those people, chances are you damage them. Chances are things fall apart. You know, you make some enemies out there. Self-taught does not mean untrained. We need training. So imagine a first aider trying to deal with somebody, but he's untrained. <laughs> he means well, but he's untrained. How much damage are you going to do? Yeah. So you get these people in all fields. They mean well. They've got a little camera. They've got a little video camera. They, you know, present a little show or whatever it is. They write a little article, but they're untrained. Man, man, mean well. You want to do something good <laughs> for the circle, for the environment, but you end up causing damage. That's serious, man. Well-meaning, but destructive. Wow. We need to sort that out. Society told, real talk.